Hey everybody, so this is the this is gonna be the AutoCAD video from our fifth class together. I'll probably divide it into two. Actually, maybe I can just fit it in one video today. Today we're gonna focus on how to draw the circle and how to do dimensions and set up your dimension style. So the default dimension style in AutoCAD is is a little funny. It's um, we we've been drawing all this in linear. I'm just gonna show you a quick example here. If I were to dimension this wall, this wall is is 44 feet long, but this one comes in reading at 528 something. So that's not imperial, that's not what I want. I'm just gonna erase that dimension. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my dimension layer, go to 005 dims. Now when I make all these changes, at least I'll be going to the right layer. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is change my dimension style. So I'll type in dim style. And this thing here pops up. So I want you to click on standard. I think you'll have ISO 25 and standard. I've done this a couple times already, but you should have ISO 25 and standard. Click on standard. And then go, go click on new. We want to make our own dimension style. Let's call it, um, call it arts215. If with my own class, you guys just made one and you called it copy of standard. You can change that name anytime, but I'll just call this one arts215. And we'll continue. Uh, what I want to do is I want, uh, start with lines. I want to change all of this to by layer. So you can see it's turning red. That's because up here, I'm on the 005 dims layer. I'm going to change the baseline spacing to two and change all of these things to by layer. I want to do everything by layer. I don't use by block. Extend beyond dimension lines. Let's make that two. Offset from origin. Let's try that at two as well. See how it works. Almost everything should be two inches. Let's then go to symbols and arrows. I like architectural ticks. I hope you do too. Arrow size of the tick is going to be two. Center marks. I'm not really familiar with what that is. Just for fun, let's make it two. Break size, maybe make that two. Jog height factor, let's make that one two. Text height, this is the one I want you to make three. Make your text three. Three looks good when you print it out at um, 3 sixteenths of inch scale. Text color, by layer. So this will be decided on the layer. And text style, leave that at standard. We'll go through this later, that gets a little complicated. Fill color, I'm not too worried about that, none. Text height is three. Uh, text placement centered. I want them above the line, so go to above. And horizontal, I also want that one centered is fine. View direction, offset from dimension line, I guess we'll make that a two. And I want them aligned with dimension line, not horizontal. So what happened in horizontal is right now they're all staying horizontal. Now they're gonna change it to make orientation with the dimension line, which is pretty good. Uh, the fit. I want to always keep my line between ex between extension lines. These are my extension lines here, that line and that line. I want that number to be inside of that, so I'll put it into always keep text between extension lines. Text placement uh, beside dimension lines good for now. Annotative, we won't touch that. Um, let me see. So primary units. This is where I want to go to architectural. So I go architectural, and I'll crank my my precision up a lot. So if you know something is 256, you know you've made a mistake. Fraction format. Uh, keep horizontal for now. Round off zero inches. I don't want to round it off. I think that, that's what that means. Uh, decimal degrees. Let's just crank that one up a little bit. Maybe four decimals. Ah, uh, two decimals should be fine there. Uh, I'm going to leave leave these numbers as they are for now. I might change them later. Alternate units. We aren't using alternate units. Tolerances. Don't think we're using that one either. Let's leave that for now and see how it looks. I'll hit OK. And now I've got my Arch 215 set up there. I'm going to set it as the current layer. So now when I do any dimensioning, it's now set for current. And I'll close that. This video is starting to get a little bit long, so I'll flip on to the, or I'll stop here, and then I'll go to the next video and show you how to use dimensions. Talk to you in a bit.